A great big hairy monster. That would have been so cool. Damn it. Right then. Parachute off again. Go through there, go through there. I love I love flying this thing. So yeah, if any of you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see on the stream next, I do have a, a small list of game games in the panels down below. But um, there's open to other things as well. Mission done. Well, unless I missed the cave with the Bigfoot in, that was the most disappointing <laughs> mission yet, I think. It built it up so far. Would have been cool if it opened the door and there'd been like a Bigfoot in here. Really pissed off trying to get out. Or sat on the bed reading one of these magazines. Um, don't want that. Uh, whiskey? Hang on, oh, hang on, hang on. Take survival magazine. I think that's, is that everything in here? What's that under the bed? Booze at the back. Yeah, I think I've got everything I want. What was that? Don't like it when I hear a notification for something and then it doesn't tell me what it was. The guy at the top of there. Right, well that was uh, interesting. Another prepper stash up in the mountains, but I'm, oh, I can fast travel to there. And we'll go up and get that one too. You'd like to see some Witcher in the future, Corporal Kelly, eh? Still waiting for Day of the Tentacle. Uh, yeah, Grimmer, I don't think you were on when I was talking about it earlier, but I had this idea of doing... Because I like old games as well. I like some of the old, like, classic stuff. So I thought maybe I'll stream new game, old game. So, so I'm through to completion. So rather than, like, from stream to stream, but stream like this to completion, and then we'll play an old classic, and then we'll go for a new game again. What do you guys think of that sort of idea? Uh, I don't think you're going to get that good on me either. Uh, opportunity here for the flamethrower. And uh, it's too good to waste. Boom! Boom! Have that. Yeah! Love it! Love it! <laughs> and that thing's going to blow up as well. Right. For you subs in the chat, we can get the we can get the flame emote going if you want. Let's see. What fires out of control? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, what flamethrower? Wasn't me. No, it just came. It was burning like that when it when it arrived. I know all about that. Actually, cars burning down. I shall tell you. En route to this next point. So it's not giving me any clue about how to get up there. But, uh, oh, I'll tell you what, this, this vehicle's free, isn't it? We'll take this. Get out of the way, dog. What the hell? What the hell was that? I thought it was a car turning up. Right. Uh, it's up there. You getting in? Cats? Dogs? Nope. Right, okay. We're going. We're, oh, hang on, this is going to be a hard drive, isn't it? It's all fucking mountains. Let's see where we can get to anyway. So yeah, cat. Oops, hang on. Is that? Oh no, there's a road. There is a road. So yeah, cars catching fire, right? So it was, I think, last or oh, October, November time. Um, I went to pick my eldest daughter up from a school, half past three. Parked the car up, went inside to pick her up, came out, and from where my car was parked, all I could see was this column of flame and black smoke rising up into the sky and I thought what the hell's just happened so I ran over to it, it was behind a hedge so we couldn't see and uh, luckily it wasn't my car but some arsehole in a BMW pulled up right behind me in a smoking, with a smoking engine got out and it set fire, it just caught fire, it just went up in like a blazing inferno bloody hell it's more of these zombie uh, wolf things Let's get that back up. Yeah, parked about oh, three meters behind my, my car. And obviously, I mean, this was like a raging fireball. There was no way, no way that I was going to run past it to try and move my car in case the fuel tank just went up. 
So we had to sit and watch it while the fire brigade came out. There's no other way to get to my vehicle, to move it, to get out of the way or anything. And all the time I thought, this is going to just totally trash my car here. And the fire got so hot, it melted the number plate and the back lights off my car. But luckily, it didn't do any other damage. So yeah, BMW drivers. BMWs. Yeah, exactly, Aldrigo. That's the first thing you do, wouldn't it? You've got a smoking car, just pull up behind somebody else. Uh, it was so annoying. Okay, where the hell's this um, thing gone? Up there. I don't think I'm going to go much further with the truck. So it's on foot from here. Yeah, so you would think, right, that uh, the other guy's insurance would cover that. I thought that. The other guy thought that. The police who turned up thought that. So all insurance details were swapped. The guy was, yep, no problem. My insurance company will deal with this. It's absolutely fine. So a couple of days later... I got in touch with his insurance company. They had no idea that I'd been at the scene, no record of me, nothing else. Never heard of me. I thought, here we go. This is going to be fun. So I had to fill in all sorts of claim forms, put all the police incident numbers down, send all the information off, email it into this department. Then they rang me back and said, we can't deal with that here. You need to send it into this department. And I thought, this is, this is, I know where this is going. And then after a month, I got a letter back saying, that they weren't actually liable for the damage his car caused because their driver hadn't been negligent. He had a burning car and he did the only sensible thing which was to pull over and get out. He couldn't do anything different. So it was just one of those freak unlucky things but they weren't going to cover me, for, uh, weren't going to pay for the damage to my car which wasn't a lot. It was only about 200 quid. Uh, so what a pain that was. So I contacted my insurance company and they said, yeah, we'll fight it but it's going to come off your claim. You're going to pay, you're going to lose your no, well, not lose your no claims bonus, but you're basically, it was going to be a claim on my policy, not on his. So I said, well, no, I don't want that. It's his fault. So they were no good either. So in the end, I just got in touch with the guy directly, explained what was happening. And luckily, well, I say luckily, I had to threaten him with going to the small claims court to get the money off him. He, he paid the bill. So it, it ended well, but my God, what a load of hassle. Yeah, we had all the details of the flaming car. The police were there. We had all the information that we could. Um, I don't know, Kelly, what BMW model it was, but what was interesting, um, when I told my people at the garage about it, they knew who it was. They knew the car. He was one of their customers sometimes, but he just had the car sent back to BMW to have the engine rebuilt just a week before. And this was some sort of electrical fire that had been caused by, I don't know, bad wiring or a mistake or what, who knows what. But yeah, that was an absolute pain in the ass to get sorted out. So yes, that's my experience with burning cars. <laughs> it also set the hedge on fire that it was parked next to and, mel well not melted, but damaged a huge section of the road. Oh, and the story doesn't end there because after I thought it was all sorted out and finished, I got a letter from the highways department with a bill for £4,000 for the damage to the road that they'd had to repair. Find Frank and his key. Where the hell is Frank and his key? Um, anyway, I rang them and said, look, it wasn't my car that caused the fire. It's this guy. But uh, And they were, they were fine. They said, we'll chase it up with him. But what would be interesting is because his insurance company said they weren't liable. It was just an accident. So they weren't liable to pay me for damage to mine. Did they then try and get out of paying the highways department for the damage to the road? And did he, the customer, have to pay that £4,000 himself? I don't know. I never rung back to find out because I was just glad to wash my hands of the whole affair. But part of me is still curious. Uh, hey, SKV for Easy Man TV. My upload speed, my bit rate is three and a half uh, kilobits. Um, I've got a lot more than that for the... I can, I can upload a lot more than that if I wanted to, but I don't because as just an affiliate, I don't... I think I always have the op quality options. Depends how busy Twitch is, how many viewers I have. So if I go higher than that, um, and then I don't get quality options, the viewers are stuck with having to watch at whatever I'm uploading at, and it can be too much for some people's connections. A lot of people found that when I, when I first started out before I was an affiliate. Um, anyway, I've been talking about cars and fires and insurance companies and crap so long that I've, I've lost track of where I'm going on this quest. Hey, you're a streamer too? Cool, what sort of stuff do you stream? Uh, this game or different things? 
in Germany, building bulletproof mechanicals since forever. Electrical, not so much. Yeah. Yeah, it's it just weird. The, the story with the car, it, people said they saw it coming down the road with smoke coming out the engine, so they flagged the guy down. He got out having no idea that it was on fire. And it was only after he got out that it, it went up like a, a big burning fireball. I mean, seriously, at the end of it, when the fire brigade had, had cleaned it all up and everything, um, there was nothing left that wasn't metal. Everything else had just gone in the fire and you were just left with a, a melted engine block and melted frame and it was just a real mess. I was really lucky actually that my car didn't suffer any more damage or glass damage because the heat, it was enough to totally melt um, all, the, all the rear plastic off but didn't do any damage to the paint on the glass which was, which was weird. Okay, I'm inside the search zone. Ah, hang on. Hang on a minute. Is he going to be at one of these platforms? And how the hell do I traverse those? Oh, there's a wild skunk down there. Right, so can I... Can I connect onto that like a zip line or not? No. Do I have to go up here and then back down again? Right, I saw something over here. Oh, I see what I'm doing. Uh, Streetsman, uh, Freezeman, sorry, he's streaming a lot of games, Far Cry 5, Doom, Wolfenstein, oh cool, lots of stuff. Yeah, it's nice to have a bit of variety. Oh, I thought I could climb that. Can I climb that? Oh, a bit of, bit of epic jumping. Jump, 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 yes. Oh, I, I think I see a zipline course coming down this mountain. Oh, cave, cave, Bigfoot. Bigfoot cave. Let's go and see what's in that. The search for the Sasquatch is back on. There's got to be something big and nasty in here. They wouldn't put a cave in the game without something horrible inside it. And that's the way up to there. Cool. Right. So we know where we're going when we come out. I knew it. I knew it. How do you like your bears, folks? Medium, rare, or well done? I like mine black. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Just roll on the floor, guys. Just roll on the floor. Put it out. That bear is going to set the entire woods on fire. Wow, that guy is in a hurry to get away. Where the hell is he going? He's going to burn the entire forest down. Have we lost him? Are you telling me that that did not kill him? Oh, there he is. Looking slightly char-grilled. <laughs> I've just burnt everything down. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, older ego. Insurance companies will try and get out of anything, as we learn. Uh, what's my favourite sniper? Yeah, I, Jacobs? I haven't got Jacobs. Um, I I like the 308 sniper just because of the click click bolt action sound. I, I love that. I love bolt action rifles. I've actually shot a couple in, well, in real life, and they're, they're pretty cool. I like them. Um, but I think the 50 cal is probably the best one, just for stopping power. That's pretty nice. Hello, we've been raided by Grindler Gaming. Thanks, Grindler. Thanks for the raid. And welcome all you new viewers. Sorry, I, I was so tied up with what I was talking about. I didn't notice that coming off. But cool. Thanks, Grindler. That's really good of you. Thank you very much. Uh, Deckard, honest opinion. Is this game worth full price if you enjoy open worldish games? Depends what you say by full price. Depends where you get it from. Uh, check out Zenim Games from the link. They have sold it. I don't know if they've got any more in stock. Um, but they do have better than retail price on it. I think the game is absolutely brilliant. If you can play it co-op with someone, like some of my streams have been, that's the most fun. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, I think I bought... Yes, actually, it is worth full price. Because I bought the deluxe Super Duper one, which comes with all the DLC and the season pass and some extras. And a free copy of Far Cry 3. Don't know if that's still in the deal. Maybe it was because I got it pre-ordered, but... I think I paid about £60 for it. Um, and the amount of time and fun I've had out of it since... Yeah, it's it totally worth it. I've absolutely loved it. And still am loving it. And the DLC is pretty good as well. So to think I get all that in the price. And there's plenty of replay value, because you can just, just play it to do stupid things, which is really what all games should be about. As you've probably seen from this, I don't take it too seriously. Have I killed Peaches? 
Oh god, did I kill peaches? I didn't notice. I should have I should have run through and rezzed her. Never mind. <laughs> uh, so yeah, good game. Really enjoy it. Hey Grindler, what have you been streaming tonight anyway? Yeah, I think we're on the right track for this now. Ooh, little handgun. Don't want it though. Here's something. Oh god, it's another one of those. Okay. Nah, we're not gonna get not gonna get unlock him with these trees, are we? Or maybe we are. See that. See if you can catch that. Just wanna watch this. No, you're not. <laughs> I like the way it blows up. Doesn't damage the plane at all. I thought he was going to land on me with that thing for a minute. And the plane just plummets. Right, where are we? Zip line down. Streaming World of Tanks and did pretty good. You know, you're the second person I spoke to today that said today's been a pretty good day for World of Tanks. So it's a shame I didn't have time to, to play it. But I have been... I haven't been playing a lot of tanks recently, as you can probably imagine. But I thought I'd have a go at some of the Object 260 missions. I've been trying to do a TD one, where you have to do about 5k damage and wreck three modules. So I've been playing the Death Star for it. And I can do the modules no problem firing Hesh. That's that's easy. But uh, I'm having a job getting 5k damage, simply because the games are over far too fast. You know, like these 15-2 and 15-3 stomps I've been talking about? Um, I just get so many of them. So win or lose, doesn't really matter. They're just over so quick before you get enough chance to get in there and get a good game off. Cosmic Kittens. I read your name as Cosmic Knickers there. I do apologise. <laughs> that would be an even more awesome name. So, hi, welcome to the stream. And Castaway Gaming. How do you get it to lock? On the... I took a bit, bit of time to work it out. You hold the... No, you don't hold anything. You, you aim. Aim down the sight. And you basically have to keep the aircraft in that red diamond. And if you can keep it in there for four seconds, it then locks on and then you can fire. But as the aircraft's moving, you have to follow it, but keep that aircraft perfectly centered. Otherwise, it, it goes off. Uh, where do we get to? Let's see. Let's loot some stuff. Oh, more magazines. More magazines. Plenty of perk points. Massive of cash. Oh, did you hear that sound? That sound is so good. Uh, no safe, though. Oh. Loot full. I think I'm good to go. Right, great. We found a nice explore in the mountains, actually. I quite enjoyed that. So we've done this bit. There's, uh, what's that? That's going to be just hunting zones up there. We've got any missions to do? This is a big unexplored bit, but nothing too important that I can see. Uh, let's have a look. Mountain armored convoy. We've still not done that. Gearing up. Oh, okay. We're back there. Let's let's do a fast travel then. Aldrigo, you did that that TD mission with the badger. Fires fast. Um, I suppose that you got the hesh rounds as well. Yeah, and I suppose you can just you can just shoot tracks, can't you? That would count. Shoot the tracks, knock them off. That counts as a damage module. So. Badges are pretty decent TD. Right. Okay. We got your stuff. Glad we can actually put this stuff to use instead of letting it collect dust in some bunker. This is a big help. I can't believe you caught those guys. Thought for sure they'd get away. If we had a couple more people like you around here, Eden's Gate would have rolled over a long time ago. Thanks again, Deputy. You're welcome. Um, hmm. Yeah, that mission to do 3.5k damage on TDs when playing as a medium. I know the feeling on that. As soon as, you, as soon as you do any mission that requires a specific target, you cannot find enough of those targets. Like, there's a, there's a medium one that you have to spot and kill artillery. Can I find enough artillery? No. I'm trying to get this pirate radio run. Something to inspire the troops. Get people on our side, you know? And before anyone tries talking shit, yeah, I prefer vinyl. But don't <laughs> call me a fucking hipster, though. <laughs> Ain't gonna catch me wearing a man bun or drinking kombucha. Says a guy with a ponytail plat. Right now, but Tammy's on that. In the meantime, I figured I should start working on the playlist. Eli left a couple records for me. But I could always use more. So, 
If you happen to come across any albums, toss them my way. Once Tammy gets the signal clear, it's DJ Weedy 24-7. Hope you're ready. I sense another YouTube copyright problem coming up here. <laughs> but it'll be cool. Um, oh, it has to be internal modules for that TD mission, eh? Oh, that's a shame. Hey, nice game in uh, Scorpion there, Cosmic. That sounds like pretty good. Lots of damage in Tier 10. Okay. Uh, step outside without your gun. It's not safe out there. Don't I know it? Um, right, I wasn't paying attention. Do I have to talk to him again already? Cool. These babies are going on the air pronto. You come across any more? I'll add them to the playlist. Okay. Collect a second set of vinyl crates. I need one more. This is what Montana should look like every day. So I think I need to bring some pets back to life, don't I? Let's get out of this place. Where's the way out? Help, I'm lost in a never-ending dungeon. There'll be a way out somewhere. Here? Down here? Yeah, surely, 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 yes. No, yes. Aha, steps. Let's get out. Okay, so. What's that up there? The Grand Slam. Uh, let's go over to Bo's Cave because this looks like it should be something important. We've got guns, we've got, we've got a dog. Let's have a cheeseburger. <laughs> yes, I know, I'm making myself hungry saying things like that. Right then, let's... Is there a quick way over here? Am I anywhere near the road? We've done this before, haven't we? We've driven off the cliff. But it's a little bit head first, but never mind, we're down. Right. I want to be... Where do I want to be? Where's the map gone? South, 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 west. I want to be up there. Go on, get that around. Driving backwards. And we're off! Ouch, 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 ouch. Poor pooch. He's okay. This is the worst base I could have travelled to because the vehicles are not on the same level as the road, I swear. Right. I think this is something... This, is this a road? This is a road. Nope. Ouch. Right. Nope. Don't hit the sign. Don't hit the sign. I'm going to actually get the information off this one. Does that tell me or not? Bears. Does that put a bear? Does that not do it? Yes, it does. A wolverine hunting spot. That's what I was looking for. It took me a long time to figure out that those signs actually have some use. <laughs> right then, let's go. Is that another... One of ours. I don't like the sound of that. Hello, can you get this guy? Oh, tunnel! Right, hang on. We want the gun. We're gonna pull up alongside and shoot him through the window. No, 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 no. Oh, I got him with the... No, I didn't get him with the first shot. He's dead now, though. Nicely done. Let's just pull up here. 